So guys, uh, this is the best game ever made. Um, coming in hot. Coming in hot. <laughs> We're in for a treat. Uh, <laughs> it's called Pokemon Snap. It's a game where you're Todd Snap and you live in the Pokemon universe, but you're not a trainer. You're not anyone important. You don't run a gym. You don't get badges. You don't battle Pokemon, but you do find Pokemon and you take photos of them. You're a photographer. So this came out in 1999. That seems about right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it seems about right for the time. So yeah. previous to Pokemon Go, there was Pokemon Snap. Yes, it's technically a first person rail shooter, but instead of, uh, you know, shooting enemies, you are- You're fighting. shooting film. You're shooting film. You know? With Todd Snap. <laughs> With Todd Snap. All right. Remind me, mm -hmm. is Todd Snap a character in the uh, Pokemon- <laughs> Right, is he, a can is he a canonical character? <laughs> Here's the thing, not at all. Um, uh, so he's <laughs> not at all involved in any of the storylines. Uh, he cl doesn't seem to have his own Pokemon, uh, which is, you know, part of the uh, universe. Um, he seems almost not connected whatsoever to the Pokemon universe, mm -hmm. except that he likes to take photos of them. Oh, so he's like the Pokemon paparazzi. Okay. So you have a certain set of like camera reels, so you can't just, you know, sniff. Photograph everything. You can't just photograph everything. And you have to like, some Pokemon, you need to entice them. So you have to get like apples or you have to buy things to get them in the correct pose. Uh -huh. But you can see how this is a super relaxing game. The stakes are pretty low, mm -hmm. uh, which to me makes a, a wonderful game that's like not super stressful. like. Compared right now, I'm playing Wolfenstein 2, which I don't know if you guys have played, but oh, that's high stress. you know, it's high stress. You're killing Nazis. Yeah. You're uh, you're trying to fix the world, and this, mm. you're just a guy. You're much just photographing. Much animals. lower uh, Nazi ratio. Well, it's low stress for us, but like you're clearly chasing some of these animals who don't want to be photographed. Oh, so. uh, clearly they're running into the ocean and they can't right. swim, so they really don't yes. want. Yeah, so you're, you're, Are you getting worried? We're just photographing them, but we should be like like herding them off out of the ocean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So the other part of the game is you're taking these photos um, and you actually get them graded by Professor Oak. Who is, uh, is Professor Oak in the original TV series as well? Yes, so yes. he okay. is. He is, okay. Um, I didn't, I don't know any of this. Just like a side story? So this is like the Rogue One of Pokemon? This is the Rogue One uh, if it had absolutely no effect on right. the original story. It was just some story. dick shit taking photographs of the Death Star. <laughs> exactly! That's it. I think that more games should be like this because to me, like one of the most exciting things about like like, you know, Harry Potter and like big fandoms is like the world they create. And I think there's a ton of different ways to explore that. Uh, like, you know, why isn't there a Harry Potter game where you're just, uh, you just own a wand shop? So yeah. you want a Quite Harry dumb. Potter video game based on the least interesting person uh, in the entire uh, Harry Potter universe. Yeah, absolutely. Sweet. You want uh, to be the person that sorts the magical mail. You guys are not convinced. That I can see it. Terrible. I mean, listen, as I said, I'm I'm brand new to uh, Pokemon uh -huh. and gaming. Um, <laughs> yeah. And so I, uh, you know, uh, I don't know what makes a good game, mm -hmm. but I also don't know if this would be where I spend a lot of my time, <sighs> but, but. <laughs> I think it sounds delightful. I like Aww. that there are no Nazis. This reminds me sort of like No Man's Sky. Okay, yeah, yeah. So it's like where you kind of just, the whole point is just wandering around and like taking, oh look that word f***ed up giraffe. I'm gonna take a picture of that. You're just like, I'm just a casual Pokemon observer. Don't okay. care about fighting, I care about my picks. That's my favorite type or, of the game. Or I'm saving the Snap. <laughs> we're saving the Pokemon. Todd yeah. Snap. Don't care about that either. No, he's like a, no, he's like a National Geographic photographer. He's like, well, I can't stop this cheetah from eating that penguin. That would be wrong, but I'm gonna videotape it. Oh. Right, although I will say uh, Todd Snap does seem to interfere quite often. He does. Um, part, yeah, because part of the game is like luring oh, yeah, Pokemon. Oh, he's throwing apples at yeah, these sons of bitches. Yeah, they're throwing apples. So if we're looking at it from a like an ecological standpoint, he is leaving a big old footprint. <laughs> you yeah, know? he's trying to uh, lure them into the lot. Well, look at that. Look that at that. Duck thing doesn't no. need to be alive anymore. Look at that. <laughs> no, he just blew. Oh, no! no! Oh my God! He just he killed him. He just killed a Pokemon. He killed Charmander. Oh my God. I this forgot is, that that happened in this This is game. Natural is this Geographics. Game? Oh my God, uh, he just knocked an egg into the lava. Oh, whoa, See, what? that's pretty dope. You have to do special things to make special Pokemon appear. 
That was pretty cool. Was it, was it ready to hatch? Maybe not. It might die <laughs> in a week because I, it... I don't think the world needs a gigantic flaming hawk. All right, that's I gonna like that's a different conversation. <laughs> immediately upset the ecosystem Why here. Why is this lava world so violent? Is it because of apples? Are they fighting over apples? What's I happening? I don't know anymore, and I guess I kind of forgot how gruesome this was. <laughs> Uh, I still love it. It's still my favorite game, but I did forget that. I feel like I'm learning a lot about you. It definitely explains why you carry a sack full of <gasps> apples with you wherever you go. Hey everyone, thanks for watching that video. Um, mm -hmm. Please click the big C in the middle to subscribe. Click the bell icon down at the bottom if you want to get notification if you have new videos. Watch one of the videos over here, I think. And... <laughs> oh, oh! Yeah. There are videos everywhere. Yeah. Apple. <laughs> Apple. Apple. <laughs>